Okay. Hey, it's Tom from Inspiration Motherworks, and um, just doing a short video on uh, post processors in Fusion 360. Uh, a while back, I did a video called Mill Turning, and um, I used uh, on my my old uh, CNC mini mill. I, I was using Linux CNC for the controller, and the um, the post processor for Linux CNC by default uh, really was only set up to do standard um, milling. Not uh, what I did, which is called mill turning or mill turn. Um, in order to enable the post processor for Fusion, I had to make a couple of changes. So let's take a look at uh, uh, where we're at, and uh, I'll show you how to do that because um, there were you know, there was some question when I first did it. I wasn't certain. I didn't I didn't want to you know upset anybody over at Autodesk. Uh, they've been really good to me, but I've since found out this is fine. Nobody you know. Nobody's worried about it, so uh, let's take a look at it because mill turn is a great option uh, when you don't have a CNC lathe and you have some small, or you've got some parts that you want to do um, for your uh, uh, round parts that you're going to do that you're going to chuck up in the mill itself, um, either via a collet or via a small uh, chuck. So um, we've got Fusion up and running. Uh, let's take a look. So I've got, sorry, I've got multiple views here going on, but. Uh, with my crazy hands thing again, but as you can see, I, I just drew this up real quick, um, just a, a round part, right? So it's got three op um, three operations here, you know, face off the front of it, we're gonna do this profile, and then we're gonna part it off, right? Um, you can see the, um, you can see what's happening here as far as tooling goes. Um, I'm gonna close this, I just wanted you guys to be able to see that, you know, we've got a tool path already in place. One thing that I've noticed is you can't edit, or I have yet to find a way to edit your post-processor in Fusion, um, without uh, uh, having some valid tool pads in here. Now there's some other stuff that you can do, and I'm gonna show you both parts to this because this is something that I find very important. So let's say you only work with one machine, and that one machine, that's, that's the only one that you, you do any work with, and so you've gotta do it in this order. If you work with multiple machines, then we're gonna use A360 and some cloud functionality. But uh, so what you would do here, right, so you, um, I'll close this part. You can see I've got everything ready to go. Um, I'd come up to post process, right? So um, I love the hover tips here. You click on that, and there's a couple of things you can do. Uh, you'll notice on mine I'm using cloud posts, and we'll go over that next. But in your post processor, right? When you select your post processor that you're using, it. So let's say this one was using Linux CNC. Um, when you click on Open Config. This will actually open the post processor in brackets in an editor, right? A text editor for you. Wow, something happened upstairs. Hope the kids are alive. Okay, um, there's only one thing that you need to change, right? It's two words. That's it. It's all you have to do. If you look at line 23, right? Let me highlight that for you on the screen. Line 23 under capabilities. By default, all it's going to have is capability milling. Right, you put the little um, oh gosh, that's a pipe uh, command in there. Uh, what that really is is uh, shift backslash, right? And then put in capability underscore turning. And remember, you got to end that with a semicolon, right? Capability turning those you know those two words. That's what turns on mill turn for you, right? You put that in, you can do your mill turning. Right, it'll it will accept that uh, as a as an option for you for post processing. Let's say you have, uh, and then you can just save this and you're done. Right, you notice it's got this big long path of where it saves the uh, the post processors automatically. Right, but let's say you're like me and you've got multiple computers, and that's one of the great things about this is you know with the cloud, you know being able to move things around. How do you do it then? Well, what I do is. I take that file and I save it, right? So I've got that file saved. And we're gonna switch over to my web browser. In my web browser, here we are at uh, uh, A360, right? When you first log into A360 uh, and you're at your home uh, page there, this, this just shows you, you know, the same kind of content that's in Fusion, right? But if you click on that, a360 menu, you'll notice there's two things. There's your normal view and manage projects, but there's A360 Drive. This is your cloud storage. This is where you can get to all of your data that's in the cloud. 
things that you own, things that are shared with you, shared by you, right? You can, you can take a look at things. And the first folder that pops up is cam posts, right? It's templates and tools, right? But cam posts, open that folder. If you upload files to that folder, and you'll see those are the three uh, cam posts that I have used, right? So there's my Linux CNC post, right? The next one that I used was Pathpilot Mill. And then lastly, this uh, testing uh, post here uh, that uh, Grimsmo and uh, John Saunders are using. This is actually the post that I'm using for my lathe, right? When you put these in the cloud folder for cam posts, let's go back and we'll look at the post again. Now you get options, right? So when you click on setup here, when you're in post process and you click on setup on that configuration folder, and that's you know, where you're keeping your posts, you notice in the menus, you have personal posts that could be local on your machine. There's the generic posts that Fusion ships and there's cloud posts, right? So you can upload those posts, your tool libraries, all kinds of things to the cloud and have it synchronized with all of the different machines that you use, right? That's what I do because I've got my desktop machine that I'm on right now in my office. This is my big, you know, my, my super PC that I, I, I run things on. I've got my Mac laptop that I run things on. I've got a machine out in the shop. If I need to make quick changes, I can make changes there. Everything stays the same because I'm doing it from my, my centralized cloud location, right? So say use cloud posts and then there's my same, those same three posts that I had available uh, in A360, as I'll show right? Really simple to do. Um, so those two words that you have to change, and then uh, you can either do it manually in your machine, or you can use cloud posts and have it synchronized across your machines. And then you don't have to worry about uploading that file. If you, know, if you make a change to your post processor, you don't have to try and you know, track it down on all your different machines. It's just right there. So uh, I'm going to call this one a quit, uh, quits, but uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I want to take a minute to uh, thank my, my supporters on, on Patreon. Uh, we'll go ahead and do my, my little screen roll thing here and there, wherever it is. And uh, But overall, I just want to say thank you. I'm, I have cut some, you know, since you've seen that I'm using the post, I have cut some chips on the new, uh, the new Tormark lathe. Uh, I will have a video coming out on that uh, very shortly. Um, but uh, needless to say, I'm, I'm pretty excited, actually. There's one of the pieces right here. So anyways, um, I've been refining that process and I mean, I'm, I'm getting it down to, you know, tenths at this point. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased. Actually, actually, if you guys really want the sneak preview, it's a new product, right? But, and I'm doing the, the pin for it. Anyways, there it is. Uh, you guys got a really sneak peek. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, that like button, comments, all of that helps. So please, please do. All right. Thank you, folks. And I will see you again real soon.